What is up everybody? Today we are out and about trying to get into some stripers. Um, less than ideal weather, you know, 20 plus mile per hour steady winds, gusts coming into 40. Uh, so hopefully I can find a place to get tucked away and you know, fight through these uh, the rain and wind. But stay tuned, hopefully we'll make the most of the day. All right, man, so while we're heading towards our first area that we're gonna fish, Today, fishing just a quarter ounce eye jig and a slam shady paddle tail. Um, I've been doing really well with these, so figure if it's not broke, don't fix it type thing. Um, one thing though I do notice is uh, on a day like today with low light, um, if white's not seeming to work very well we'll move to a brighter color or something with a little bit more contrast but right now we're just going to start with old faithful white all right so this this is going to be our first stop up ahead um there's like a little creek mouth which i love fishing this time of year because a lot of baits can get pushed out uh certain species migrate south or or east but um there are you know still a bunch of species that hang around all winter long like me there we go there we go i knew there was one sitting in there ah. let's go oh Keep him. There he is. Oh. Look at that man. Beautiful bass. That's actually not a bad one, man. I'm probably just gonna net him just because I feel like it might be a little bit easier on him. Let's put this right here. There we go. Come on, come to Papa. Oh, oh no. Amateur hour on the net job right now. Ah, oh, man. That's been my biggest mistake usually when I'm. I always underestimate how tough these fish are. And these guys do not give up easily, man. Especially in shallower water. Let me get this out of my way. Yeah, but look at that, man. That's actually a pretty healthy looking bass. All right, man. Let's uh, let's get this guy out. Man, I mean, look at, let me get this out of the way. That's a healthy looking bass, man. You can check out. Oop. Siri trying to find stuff for me. Nah, I think he's ready. Yep, there he goes. All right, man, so that's not a bad start to the day. Be honest, when it's windy like this and raining, it's, uh, pretty uh relieving knowing that there's actually fish oh is he sitting here Look. i knew this was going to be a, a good spot at the beginning of the tide and i think there might be schooled up right now because you know this time of year when the word temp drops they start to go on these incredible feeding sprees where they just bulk up for winter and Boy, am I glad we came out today. I looked at the weatherman's report with 40 mile per hour gusts and, you know, rain, and it didn't look very good, but honestly, I, I really don't believe in bad weather. I'm, I'm more of a believer of bad clothing. You know, if you don't have the right clothing, you're not gonna have a good time. Now, this guy's a little baby, but still gave us a good fight. There he goes. 
I'll be honest with you, I'm a little mad at myself that I forgot my shallow water pin. Um, it does make this fishing a lot easier because I don't have to <clears throat> I don't have to uh, pedal as much, but I'll take it, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Get a little more exercise this way. But man, these fish get stacked when the word temp drops like this. That's why I like I like the fall to winter transition sometimes because you know I know it gets colder out and people you know claim that fishing's not as good but what I find in the winter time is that these fish stack up I think they're easier to find in the winter time than they are any other time of the year but I also think that um, they're a little bit harder to catch sometimes Man, I'll tell you what, it has uh, become one of my favorite types of fishing. You know, it doesn't require much. You don't have to spend much money. You know, I, I've been using these Slam Shady paddle tails this year, um, but any type of swim bait will work. Personally, uh, I found that I've liked quarter ounce jigs a little bit more in the shallow stuff just because um, it doesn't sink as quick and I think where I'm fishing it keeps it pretty suspended up oh oh short strike Let's see if we'll come back nope they're in there man short strike and a half right there that might have been a little rat and that's one of the things I found doing this type of fishing that most people do incorrectly is you know they're working their baits way way too quick and when the word temp drops like this man low and slow is the way to go you know you work it too quick and you're probably passing fish or fish that are just not interested in working that hard to catch up to it all right well they're definitely in here we just got short striked right where this little flow of current is and I already got a piece of debris on the bottom of the kayak I could feel it All right, man, so that wasn't too bad. That creek had a decent number of fish in it. So, you know, it's one of those things after you've caught so many in there, you either caught them all or you might have spooked a few that you didn't catch. So it's time to move on, move on to a different area. There's another little creek right here, but <clears throat> I don't know if there's gonna be fish staging in them the way they were in that last one. Um, just because the direction, ah, I might have just spooked everything there. Lurking in there. There's like a little bit of a rip. And I think they're just pouncing on bait fish just getting washed through. I had a feeling there'd be at least one. There we go. There we go. I knew there'd be one there. Old Faithful. I knew there'd be one right in that little. Now, nah, it ain't a big one, but. I had a feeling there'd be one right there. Man, that is a dink and a half, man. We are going in the wrong direction, man. Weather's getting worse, fish are getting smaller.